My name is Marian Dykstra. I am an occupational therapist, certified hand therapist. When I met Ellen, she had a very intense fracture to the elbow. The x-rays were incredible. I shattered my left elbow joint, broke my right wrist, and I broke my right elbow. So before I went to ATI, I was feeling completely overwhelmed and nervous because I had never been to a physical therapist before. When I first entered the ATI clinic, I just, I felt welcomed. Ellen came in and she said, I have to get all of my motion back. Not some of it, but all of it. A lot of patients get really timid that first day, especially when I'm taking off their big bulky dressings, putting a splint on them, and Ellen was tough. So I've been a dancer for since I was a little girl, and I've been spinning fire solidly for about seven years. So day one for me was very hard, um, almost like tears, you know. By the second week, I was excited. I looked forward to going to therapy, which I don't know if many people do, but I felt like I was gaining my life back by going. She had to know where one body part was in relation to another, in relation to everything around her, because she throws fire. So if she misses a movement, somebody is going to get hurt or she's going to get hurt. So we got to have a lot of fun trying to replicate some of those movements in clinic. I mean, she can make anything graceful. I mean, picking up a Kleenex out of a box, she can make graceful, but that was actually one of our exercises too. She was juggling Kleenex, so that was fun. ATI in general was just such a friendly facility to, to be at. From the receptionist to the assistant, to the therapist herself. It was inspiring to be around these people that um, their job was to help people. The last few times that I had visited, I was honestly getting sad because I had developed a relationship with my therapist and these people who I was seeing kind of weekly. It became very exciting because we knew we were you know, getting towards that end. We knew we were progressing her home programs to the point where she can do them without skipping a beat, perfect form. Uh, the whole clinic got involved in her exercises because we were using the whole clinic. We weren't just sitting at our hand therapy table. I mean, we were using the entire clinic. We had other patients cheering her on. So it was very much a team atmosphere, a team environment. After the accident, after therapy, after going through all of that, I'm back to doing the things I like to do, um, like working, dancing, doing yoga, um, cooking, something as simple as that. Um, and I wouldn't be here without everyone that helped me on my journey. Getting an email every now and again from her, it might be a few months in between, or it was just a nice reminder of, you know, making an impact with somebody, making a friend, uh, and being able to communicate like that outside of therapy. You know, we were more than just patient clients, so we were friends. <laughs>